Hi there. How's it going? Today we are going to be working on some smaller pieces. I, uh, ha I got some 12 by 12 wooden panels for Christmas, so I have a couple of ideas that I want to do. I'm going to do the first one that you'll see in this video is going to do a flip cup with the color scheme of phthalo blue, a teal, um, white, black, and burnt sienna. Let's see how it turns out. These are the panels I got. I got a three pack of Art Alternatives wood panel 12 by 12. I have not heard good things about their um, art materials such as paint and colored pencils and stuff, but um, I've had great luck with their wooden panels. I mean, wood is wood. So let's paint on one and see how it goes. I'm going to do a pretty full flip cup, so I think I'm not even going to coat it ahead of time. I know I preach that nonstop, uh, that you should coat your panel with wet paint first, but um, I think this is going to be a pretty full cup, so I'm going to just let it let it be. So here's my cup and we're going to start with the white on the bottom so that when it flips it will be on top. I might do a couple of layers in this cup of the order that I'm looking for. So that was white and then we will do the this is my phthalo blue, I'm trying to pour uh, gently so that they don't mix. The teal. Pouring down the side and also onto my panel accidentally. Then we shall do some black. The burnt sienna. And I think I might top it off with a little more white. Just for good measure. Looks like the phthalo blue wants to come to the top. That's interesting. Not what I would have expected. Let's flip. You know, I am, I am going to coat it with white. I feel like I'm going to regret it if I don't coat it with white. So, just spreading this to the edges so that the paint doesn't snag anywhere on the dry surface. That surface tension can cause some, some unsightly flow issues that I just don't like. And all of this is subjective, like everybody's got their own approach. Some people say you can't do this, you can do that, you can do whatever you want. When I say that you should do this, you shouldn't do that, that's just my preference, so you can always approach it any way you want. I'm not trying to fight that because I'm about to pour paint right on top of it. So here we go with the flip cup. I think I've got a little bit of a downhill issue, huh? Do I want to drag it around or do I just want to let it go? There it goes. I 
Now I told myself if the brown came to the top too much, I might swipe the blue and white over it. So we shall see. Also, I might just go ahead and swipe these edges because I never really like what it does in the corners. I always wanted to see what happens if I swipe early to assist and then let it do its thing. I don't usually combine the swipe with the flip cup, but we all fight those corners, so why not? I really like that, the teal over top of the brown. This is too black and too brown. So I think I'm going to add a little more, I'm going to add, and that's all black and brown in my cup, so I don't want to use that. I'm going to add some more teal, some more blue and white over here, and I'm going to swipe it this way. White. Teal. It's already got a little blue. Get my spray bottle. Oh, I sort of got rid of all the paint over there. Shall we add it back in with this cup remnants? Tilt that way. that all the way off because I don't like what I just did. Go on. You know you want to. That's sort of cool like the snag I got here, so I'm going to tilt that off this way. Maybe I'll go back the other way, because that's a little ish. snag that way. Don't like those snags. That's fun. I dig it. Yeah, I think I like it. I think I put a little too much black in there for my liking. We might do another one and not use so much black. Cool. All right. Uh, we'll come back and check it out after it dries.
On second thought, I, I decided it might be better to let you at least see some of the cell development before it dries. Uh, we're getting a lot popping in. Oh, getting lots of cell development with time. It's been about 10 minutes. The white's really popping through. some pretty complex cellular formations going on with all the layers showing. That's so cool. I love that. Yeah. I even like what the sides are doing. Okay, we'll check it out again in a day or so. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholsheart.com. Bye. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Did you know I have an Instagram? I do. I update it daily. Lots of new posts on what I'm working on new ideas and my most current projects you can keep track of what i'm up to on there so go and follow me check it out hey one more thing if you haven't visited my channel lately you might not know that i have a new playlist called resin incorporating into my acrylic pore paintings. On this playlist, we have some instructional videos at the beginning, and then it goes to more demonstrational videos where you see how I do my layering technique. There are almost 30 videos that show different ways that I've incorporated resin under, between, and on top of different artworks. So check it out. Let me know what you think. It's a whole playlist just for those of you that are resin lovers.